Oh, the server's empty. Let's see if we can find a squad of people to play with. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing 5.7 Gemini. The reason for that is it's probably the most spammed out nation and battle rating that there is in the game. And there's a very good reason for that too. It's very, very good. Now, every single time I pop on the Discord, I'll ask what people are playing. And this is generally what they've got. 5.7 Gemini. You've got the Panther A, you've got the Tiger E, you've even got the Panther D and the Panther G now. Ah, uh, the Dole 35B2. There's many, many things in this lineup that you can bring out, and they're all super effective. Now, before we hop into some games, and I'll show you how I play Gemini 57, a uh, quick reminder that the little Odo plushie is available right now. We have 150 sales of it. We need to get to 200 in order for it to go ahead. So, if you are in the market for a cute little buddy to sit next to you on your desk and give you good luck while you're flying casts, go ahead and put a little order in. It would help me out. And you'll get an awesome little plushie as well. Now, for this series where I take a full lineup, I describe every single vehicle that I'm bringing out, why I'm bringing it out, and how I normally play it, in the hopes that you guys can watch and learn and get a little bit better and obviously keep entertained. So, without further ado, let's get into battle. Right, starting off with a pretty good map for me, one of my favourites. Let's go. Taking the pack wagon. Probably a lot of people wondering why I'm bringing out a load. Well, a lower tier vehicle into what looks like to be a 6 0 or 6 3 match. It's just speed. The gun is good enough for what I needed to do on a flank, and I can scout. It's good for my spawn points, it's good for reducing the amount of points it's going to cost to spawn an aircraft. So that's why we take it. That's why we do. This gun's also slightly better than the Panzer Ford's gun. I'm, when I say slightly, I mean statistically slightly better. In practice, it's way better too. Kinda wish they put this on every Panzer IV. I don't know what the difference is between the two, but they are. If you can let me know in the comments what it is, it'd be awesome. This one got 151mm up in. I think the Panzer IV is like 140 something. So, marginally, the different on paper D76B is pretty scary for us and we just want to cut people off coming up here right I don't know if I should be cocky here just in case uh, uh, somebody is definitely coming here and it's good that he's died in that gap because it means I will know if somebody's trying to get up there. That's a jumbo. And lots of friends too. Somebody's also on B. Scout the other one in reverse here because somebody else is coming this way. Is that another French light tank? Oh, it's an M18 and a jumbo. Where the M18 is going? Is he ceased? We got him scared, so it's not a big concern. It's an SU-100. Lord and heat. Lord and normal rounds. 
me die here, it's all good. Very slow velocity. EBR, but good reload. And we're off then, before we get EFS by that guy. I'm gonna sneak back over this way and see if we can do something about this beaker. See how important it is to deplete the feed of enemy vehicles coming into the battlefield rather than it is to cap. Now my teammates are capping, but it means that nothing else is up on top of this hill to really challenge it. Going on now. Was that 50 cows coming up Maui? I think there was. Oh, this is not good. Ow, 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 ow. My barrel, that's my everything. Right, let's get shot by this guy as much as we can. Get another scout off. We're not going to survive this, so we're just going to keep getting spawn points off him as he fires at us, and then we're going to bring up a plane, probably. Very successful scouting run. Uh, and it looks like we are probably going to win this game. Less than 300 spawn points now to bring a plane. I'm going to bring this guy out. Just in case there's other enemy aircraft. Right, we got baby bombs too. These are fantastic, by the way. I normally use uh, a half second bomb delay for these. Uh, sometimes zero. The only problem is using zero. Generally, I'll damage myself and I don't want that to happen. And plenty of enemies left. No planes though. Kinda looks like an anti-air down there. This guy I'm focusing on right now. It sure is actually. I don't want to die on him. But we will go for these guys. Right there. KRL-44 and a Jumbo, I believe. Bombs away. That's one gun. Perfect. Perfect, dude. Let's get back around here, see if we can get this Jumbo. I get a better angle on this. I don't know why he's aiming his side towards the hill. But he is. Well, oh, it's an AC-50 and he just moved, so that bomb's probably not going to kill him. He's already dead. Oh, PTR. We definitely have this game in the bag, though. That, uh, that anti-air in the bushes is annoying my team. He actually just killed somebody, too. Are you watching me now? Ouch. The BDR just clapped my cheeks, dude. <laughs> my fuselage is all blacked out. Still no plane. Somebody going to see. Let's try and make sure that doesn't happen, right? Yeah, good high angle. We're probably going to crash dropping this, but cool. Fine by me. BTR's now shooting somebody that's invaded his spawn. What's your game? You're just going to get killed straight up, right, by my teammate? Yeah, I thought. I, th I thought we were able to pull up after the damage we got. Angie dogs. Right, um, again, another plane. Our team's already in our spawn, so... Oh, we better change this. <laughs> We're the bigger bombs. Let's go. Butter dog. <laughs> With two U's. One guy left. Nine kills, though. Nine kills, we take those. No, no dog fights. Nothing, really. That's the guy in the Sherman back there, right? M41. He's just been set on fire by the looks of it. No, he has not. He should know. I think it's the cast hole one. Come on. Oh, an R3. There he goes. And that's game. Last guy. GG. First game of the day. Right, we got an extremely big map, so good options for us. Panther A, VFW is a little bit slow and has no depression, or we go for speed again. I'm going to pick speed pretty much every time. Our firepower is pretty lacking against 6-3, but 
I think we can get the A, maybe hold it down against M18s, etc. Um, and that's what we're going to go with. Russia, USA, obviously. Israel has M51s and the AMX-13. So, this thing can deal with pretty much everything that will get thrown at us. Uh, anything that's not a Pershing, or a Super Pershing, or a T-34. And I reckon we're going to see quite a few of those Object 248s. Again, not a problem for our gun. Because this is sand, this M18 is actually matching my speed. Most of our, uh, most of our spawn points are going to come from this cat. Hopefully some from scouting. And then we're good to go. I feel like I should explain though, the reason why it's important to farm spawn points at the beginning of a match. So I'm going to... If we get this cat, if we get some scouts and some crits done, which most other tanks can't do, it means that we'll end up with maybe five to eight hundred spawn points generally. And then that means you'll at least be able to spawn three other tanks. If things go south for your second spawn, then at least you have, have a little buffer of spawn points to keep you going. So that's why it's so important to us. Probably happened to you before, right? You spawn your heavy tank first. You die in it without doing any damage. That's a jumbo coming. No, it's not. It's not a jumbo. It's a 76 Sherman. It's too low. That should have been a free kill for me and I left it. Yeah, you die in your heavy tank. Then you spawn another vehicle. And then you die to another light tank. And then that's you out of the match. I think he's 800-ish. He is pretty clever. Keeping that speed up. I'm going to move from here though. We just lost the scout on him too, so... Good opportunity for me. The thing is, did this Sherman keep pushing this way or is he hiding? He's not paying attention to where I am. It's very good. And there's two things on here. It's a bulldog. And he didn't get the cap either, which is great. Right, let's rush towards this rock formation here so we get a little bit of cover. We'll keep scouting things as we go along. We got two kills now. And we got a cap. And we're pretty solid on spawn points because of that. There's a guy right there. Where did he go? I seen to you. There he is. That's a jumbo. 75 by the looks of it. No one really looks over here. Except the people that you killed, right? Let's keep him in our sights. Oh, he's up on a rock. He was using his cannon to give him a speed boost there. I'm actually going to range find this. No, I'm not. I'm just going to give it a shot. Perfect. He just moved. So I was inching in track though. And the guy to his left just died. Please, give me the kill. Thank you. Right, good. I'm eventually going to get flanked here. The more people we kill, the more alert the teammates are to our position, the more likely we are to die. This, what is our range here? I, so far away I couldn't even scout him. Oh! Oh my god, I, I just ejaculated my uh, 75mm cannon into that man's upper front plate. That is... <laughs> I am absolutely the most pleased I could ever be with that shot. I think I'm going to get strafed though, right? 
Well, that one was a little bit high. We partake in as much scumbaggery as we can here. Oh, you're so lucky. What just fired at me there? Am I getting grizzlied or something? Strafed out. And thus ends the cycle of war thunder. <laughs> you got sniped from back up there. I was very proud of that shot I made on that guy that was far away. It was a very good guess. Right, uh, BF109, let's go. I get no scouting done, but we got 2,000 spawn points. We are absolutely golden for the rest of this match. There are several tanks looking into our spawn on this side, and that's actually a problem for later on. My teammate just got smacked by that BTRZD. Not cool. I've got too much of a bomb delay on these. I forgot to reset it since last game. It shouldn't be too much of a problem, depending on what we are fighting against. Also need to keep an eye out on this twin-engine fighter. I'm going to try and uh, help this air raid guy. No, we're not. The BTR's over that way, I really don't want to go too close to it. This Maj just killed this panther. Both these guys flying us directly into the path of enemies. God, dude, how are you still alive? Because you're a Tizma, right? He's coming back in a fighter, that's why he jade out quick. Need to watch uh, good players like that. He's not thinking about what he's doing now, he's thinking about what he's doing next. So he's coming back in a fighter to try and deal with me now. And that's cool. Our team is currently still well on the offensive. That BTR's not moving up, which is good. Don't want them to. He can stay where he is. Not interested in that aircraft. What we are interested in is these two guys. It was a bad bomb, but I think we'll still get him. And there goes the other two there. The enemy plane's not doing so well, and the one from earlier is on his way in. So give him a couple. That actually hit him. <laughs> it makes a different noise. Oh, he spun that trigger. We're going pretty fast, so we should be alright. I need to do this with just pretty much two vehicles so far. And uh, it's quite a high BR to bring a pack wagon into it. We take those. That dude's definitely dead. My plane is about to be exploded to... Oh, somebody's on A. I didn't get my bomb off. I don't think... Never mind. Right. Do oh, let's go. Ah, we, we took A back. <laughs> we took A back. Two enemy aircrafts. This was not a good idea to spawn this, but I think the game is pretty much won it anyway. See how you can uh, win games even with full enemy teams? I don't think that's cool. I think ticket bleed should be slower. We won strategically rather than brute force. <laughs> and although that's definitely a good way to win, it's kind of boring. A little bit. Still trying to get this air raid guy off that cap. That is ignoring us. Never ignore a Dota D5. Never. I 
in this game. This game did GG. I missed him. Shared my crosshair already on him, but I did not. And GG. Just as we die. <laughs> Just as we die. Right, no fun say what BR are we at, dude? We are at 6.3. Let's go. An ELC bis. I need to be really scared of that. Need some flat ground too. There's a lot of why is everyone dropping arty here? I can't see the little biscuit. Thanks to my teammates. Okay, we got him. Right, we're stuck here till we can repair. That's a jumbo behind that building. It's going nowhere right now. Can I actually hit him through this? No. No, I cannot. It's almost thin enough though, I can probably pen him at some absurd angle. I hardly see him now. Where on earth is he now? He's definitely moved. Oh, thank you, Tiger E. That's awesome. I love when we can't see the enemy. My teammates need help, Bonnie. That was close. Something's around the corner to my right side, though. There, getting artilleried. And I know there's a jumbo in this corner down here, so... This is going to be a big yikes. He overpinned me. And I don't know if I'll be able to see this guy. Maybe actually. Another one bites the dust. Right. Let's continue this merry journey because I know there's still another one round here. And I think that's his smoke. Somebody's coming. Was. Maybe another one. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I see you. What? Oh, your breach saved you. Not from the second shot, though. Right, how are we doing? A cap's pretty much clear, right? My gunner is the wounded one, I'm sure. I think I'll just get more aggressive. More aggressive is more better. Gunner loader. Somebody else is getting brave. I'm gonna get shot from behind, but... It's fine. Oh, that's big bombs. Guess I don't need to worry about that direction anymore. We are taking B. That's the wee guy we killed at the start. It almost killed us. 
But I'm actually very surprised I didn't get his with overpressure. Where is everyone? Because there are plenty of enemies left. Two coming this way. <laughs> Breathe. There are so many coming. But did the other one change his mind? Oh, I see him. This guy's probably gonna die though. To me. <laughs> oh. Hello. And I missed him. Okay, he is dedicating his life with his RP3s. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're just a little bit of so. Is it just planes now? Oh no. Do you hear that? <laughs> well, at least they, they wasted all their ordnance on me, right? They wasted all their ordnance on me. Uh, no, look at this VR, let's go. I think we'll go 109. And then we'll take out. Oh, oh, oh. Then we'll take out our dough. Good one in the VFW, though. Good one. Lots of people left, but not much chance, I don't think. Get him, 109. Did BB1 die? Probably has. Thing on C is dead. I did hear a. Uh, it's probably an Easter bark or a BTR. I can see a truck down there as well. There's this 12 that was down there. And the, there's a plane still alive. Good. Every crit helps. He's a goner. Did he get his bombs off? He did, but he didn't kill anyone. Good. Oh, no. Not good. What are you? An SU-6, right? It turns really well. Oh. IL-10. Right, I lost all my bombs. But there's still a truck left alive somewhere, so... Never mind, he's dead too. I think we can call it that. Probably. What's happening down here? Oh, there's... There was an Easter mark, but there's also this... BTR here as well. My god, it is so hard to kill every single crew member in one of them. So hard. I don't, I'm gonna just drop my throttle completely and land in flaps. Hopefully I can kill the last guy on there before he starts aiming at me. Goodness me. Right. <laughs> okay. We lost all of our bombs because dogfight with an IL-10 but we dodged them and that's game right we gone did it that was a good one dude gg 11 kills seems to be the sweet spot if you enjoyed today's video or learned something please remember to hit the like button and if you'd like to see more remember to subscribe as well it's quite often i don't get to take every single vehicle whenever i do a lineup video and that's just how things are just pick the best vehicle for this situation and don't take a vehicle that you don't think you will do well on a particular map. Ideally, you should have a tool in your lineup for every single job, something that does really well in up tiers, a nice fast scout tank, you've got 
your basically staple diet here of a heavy tank and a medium and of course a couple of cast planes that you're very comfortable in playing and an SPAA if things don't go well for you. As always I'd like to thank everyone who supports the channel through Discord and Patreon. Thank you very much everybody, that's another month that's gone by, I really appreciate it. And to all the tier 3s who get a shout out, over on Discord, that's Toast McGee, GG Bra, Frost, Oddwell, Bo, Bofe, Destari, Grifted, Greed, Jimmy, Marushin, Please Call Me Landon, Squeezel, Stoyan, Terry Bad, and The Witch Doctor. And to everyone over on Patreon, which there are many of you, thank you again. And to all the tier 3s, Sickness, Wynn, Matthew S, Eric Fear, Jesse Mills, Paul Hendricks, The Tackle Guy, FTN, Watermelon, Shane McGuire, Anders Stormwind, Brandon, aka The Flying Pickle, Ethan, Excavation Nation, Hanson, The Tear, Kin, The Salt Lord, Coil Metany, Ralph, Raj, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Well, TV2 is an Atomic, Manny and Warpig, Shaf, Alicia, Mortan and Stoyan, J Tormey, David, Pyrophoric, Shmoo, and the one, the only, Rosalini. And to everyone still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love, and bye bye